At the very outset, let me congratulate Mr. Pramod Chowdhury and the Prach team on their announcement today of entry into renewable chemicals and materials. Praj has been serving the bioeconomy industry for the last few decades, enabling entrepreneurs and businesses to make molecules like fuel ethanol, which of course has found new uses, especially in the form of hand sanitizers, which you and I use routinely today, as well as molecules like isobutanol, and also deconstructing the feedstock for the future generation of the bioindustry materials and renewable chemicals in the form of lignocellulosic feedstocks. This is a very important endeavor for a company that hails from India, not only in meeting the needs of Indian economy or the Southeast, South Asian economy, uh, or for that matter, people in Asia, but also many, many economies around the world. Fossil fuel derived materials have served us well but they have their limitations. We have also recognized that molecules of nature have attributes that we cannot necessarily reproduce in the form of chemistry and that with the emerging tools of biotechnology, we can actually make the very same molecules that nature makes them, sometimes make them better. And the use of these molecules is environmentally much more desirable as we have witnessed the carbon dioxide emissions during the last few decades, which has resulted in major global warming, microplastics that have accumulated in our oceans and are ending up on our foot plates, and other materials that are not necessarily biodegradable or biocompatible. I wish them the very best in this journey, and I hope that you all will join me in supporting them in this journey and building a successful enterprise which addresses the needs of all humanity. I've really enjoyed my trip to Praj Matrix. It's uh, been so exciting. I've seen some really great science. I've met some fantastic scientists. And I think the most important thing though is I see the translation of the basic science into the very practical and how you've implemented that to really help the world. The Chu Chi plant was extremely exciting for me. It was extremely exciting because I run a research institute in the U.S., the Joint Bioenergy Institute, that focuses on how to transform cellulosic biomass into biofuels. And here I got to see it in action. Um, and it's just so impressive how um, you're taking, you know, a large amount of biomass, uh, 12 tons a day, and turning it into biofuels, and at the same time having zero waste go out of the plant. So uh, I think it's a model for the world. So Praj, I think, has been a trailblazer in how to produce uh, ethanol. Uh, first generation ethanol from starch, and now second generation from cellulosic biomass. There are so many other things that can be done with that technology. We can produce other products, for instance. Maybe we could replace all plastic with a biodegradable plastic, so that when it gets into the environment, it's degraded. Um, and if you can do this in an economically viable way, then the world will want to change. Um, Praj can do this, but that's going to take a lot of basic science um, in how to produce these. There are many other products that can be produced in a more renewable way than what they are now from, by producing them from petroleum. So um, I, all of this takes basic science, and Praj is doing that, and they also have the engineering teams to put it into practice. The team is incredibly motivated. We can all see that. And um, keeping this going is, is something I know how Praj knows how to do, but um, just keep that magic going because uh, it's going to be infectious. And I think you also have to look at it not just of um, being economically viable, but really changing the world, changing the world to be more renewable and, and making the world viable for our children and our grandchildren.